Hello long riders and welcome to Everything Fly Fishing, the channel where we teach you how to catch more fish, tie the flies, to do just that. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss any videos like this one we're about to produce right now. And if you read the description, you're going to know that we're going to teach you something today. You're going to want to watch this whole video to the end. Trust me. We're going to show you something today that's going to throw all your theories about fly tying and fly fishing out the window. Um, we were at Penn's Creek the other day and the flies were bigger, they were size 8 and the March brown or the March browns we had tied were only size 12. So we didn't have anything and I think it was the slate drake that was hatching. I'm pretty sure it was the slate drake. The bellies weren't cream or light tan color. They were more of a brownish, darker color. They still had the dark back, like a March Brown, but they weren't the March Brown. March Brown aren't size 8s. So these were a slate drake. I didn't have anything but a huge suspended tail deer hair fly. And I tried it, and it didn't work, of course, because they were just emerging and that body wasn't formed. So I took my clippers, and I clipped the body off. And, uh, well, we'll show you right now. Yep, that's the fly. I cut that body off, I casted it out, and I was like, man, this ain't going to work. But there's the only thing I had that was that big that would represent that fly that was popping off. And I ran it down through by this fish was rising in front of me and taking him. I could see apparently that's what he was taking. I could just see the big, huge. Now this is a big fly. You could see it almost the way all the way across Penn's Creek, floating down and watch him. And these fly would come. This fish would come out and I'll eat it. So I ran up by him a couple of times and that fish didn't take. So the second time I was like, you know what? How about when it goes right by the, where I think the fish are, I'll just jerk it, twitch it a little bit. And I did that and wham, big nice brown trout. As I will show you later in this video, you'll, I will show you the actual fish that we caught with that fly. Now if you see that fly, when you remember looking back, there's no tail. There's not, nothing of a body to be um, talked about because I cut all that off. I cut the tail off. I cut the suspended tail body off. So basically all it was was a wing, hackle, and a bunch of crap hanging off the back. And I caught, I bet, four or five fish. I lost a bunch. I snapped one of them off and had to recut the body back off another fly because a fish started rising about five feet down, strictly down from me in the water. And when it rose, I kind of set the hook a little too hard and snapped it off. And that was a big fish because I could feel it. It was a big fish. So, I mean, it wasn't just all these little teeny stockies we were catching on this thing. We were catching some nice fish on this. And as the one had really nice red spots, I don't think it was a stocky that year. It might have been last year's holdover. So these, had, these fish had some time to get smart, and they still hit that fly. So well, anyway, let's get to the fish footage. And I will bring you back and talk to you more about what happened and why my theory is is why we caught fish on this only hackle and and talk to you more about um, my theories on this and everything else. And uh, I know some of you people still ain't probably going to believe me, even after I show you the fish fish footage, but this is exactly what happened. And we had a good day off of something that was just a hackle and a wing. So let's get to the fish footage right now, and I'll be back to talk to you at the end.
Hey, long rodders. I hope you enjoyed that fishing video. And I'm glad you stayed here to the end because, man, I got a lot to talk to you about. One, this fly only had hackle and wings. No body, no tail. So to all them people that talked crap on my channel uh, for the last three years about, hey, that, no, that tail's a little long. That's not going to catch fish. That body looks a little messed up. The ribbing's not perfect. That ain't going to catch no fish. <laughs> wrong. You're wrong. And you've been wrong since the beginning. So when someone's, when you're new, listen, this is definitely a good video for you new tires. When you say, okay, well, my wings were kind of messed up. One's longer than the other. The tail was a little short or a little long. The body didn't look so good. And you're thinking, that fly ain't going to catch no fish. I'm going to throw it away. Don't. Put that one in your box. All them other four flies you tied that are perfect, you're going to find out. Like I have over the last 35 years that I've been fly fishing. A lot of these people that tell you this are newbies. They're not the old wise men. Because the old man will tell you that the only one in your box is the messed up one that's going to catch fish. And you'll find this over and over and over again like I have. So this video, I make it to someone special that I hold very hold dear to my heart called Termite. Termite is a termite who keeps coming up on my channel saying that my fly, the tails are too long, body's not looking right, that fly looks like crap, you ain't going to catch no fish. Termite, you're full of crap. You've always been full of crap. You come on my channel, you talk crap, you don't know what you're talking about. So I hope you get, somebody shares this video with you. So I could tell you personally, to your face, go away, you're full of crap. And if any of my viewers have listened to what you, the crap that spills out of your mouth, uh, I feel bad for them because you are so wrong. You and all the other people that, everything's not perfect, people. You know what, man? If you listen to these idiots, I feel bad for you because they are idiots. Most of them that talk crap but come to my channel are new to fly fishing. They have no idea what they're talking about. They are just talking out their butts. They're idiots. Don't listen to them people. Because I, in this video, I just proved to you that all it took for me to catch some fish was a wing and a hackle. No body, no tail. So when they say your tail's too long, your body's too long, the wings are too long, I showed you on a video that I tied a video that the wing was too long. I caught fish. I lost it. I was in a video a while back. It caught fish and I lost it. Caught one fish and I think I snapped it off on that fish. A big fish. Probably the biggest one I hooked into this year. And it snapped that fly off with the big wing. So I didn't get it on video. <laughs> Sorry about that. These people are full of crap. They're going to tell you all kinds of crap in your upcoming fly fishing experiences. If you got a lot of years left, they're going to try and talk so much crap. Don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. A good uh, thing on the Keystone is when we first got to the Keystone Select in that video, some old fly fish that's fishing for years, they'll go, oh, they don't catch anything on wet flies uh, uh, or, or streamers. At the parking lot, telling us it's not a good day. If I was you, I'd go somewhere else. Second cast, Tracy hooked into a fish that straightened out the hook. I have never, ever, and I've caught some 25, 28 inch browns and some big fish. Never had one straighten out the hook. Second cast, she had one straighten out her hook on the olive lively legs. The fly that the guy said wouldn't work, people told me it wouldn't work. It wouldn't catch fish that were being stocked unless they were stocked 24 hours ago. They were all full of crap. And they always will remain full of crap. That's why, well, I, trust me, and this has happened so many times, I'm not going to tell you anymore. It's happened many a times. They see me with my long hair, my tie-dye shirt on, get out of the truck, and they have a chuckle to themselves. And I go down to the creek. They're fishing the patterns that somebody told them to tie. I'm fly fishing with my pattern that I created that I showed you in class. I caught four fish. They're still in there with none. And I'll walk down the creek and do it to somebody else. I'll go down there, catch four fish, go down the creek more, 
and I make them mad because they're like, how can this young dumb hippie who does apparently doesn't know anything about fly fishing because he doesn't have a shim shirt on, a Sims hat, Sims waders, he don't have the best boots in the world, he's not running around with a Sims jacket, he don't have Sims clippers, he ain't gonna catch any because he's not spending all the money and he's just, you know, that is a new fly fisherman's theory. And trust me, and when I tell you this, I'm not lying, I've outfished them many, many, many times. Last year, there was a guy sitting on the bank. These old guys were sitting on the bank talking. A fish was rising two feet from their feet. They got up and walked away. I casually went across the creek to where I could reach it. Casted, best brown. I've caught, I think, almost, well, pretty close. To, yeah, I'd say probably the prettiest brown I've ever caught. Rising to feet. You know why? Because they're too stupid to you can fish that fish. So, all the people that are full of crap, I'm proving you wrong. So, thank you for watching my little rant. And don't listen to anybody that tells you anything like that, that your tails are wrong or body's wrong or that fly ain't going to catch no fish because guess what? It's probably that one that you're going to catch. And you know what makes me mad? It's all cut, tie four flies and I have one that's crappy. And that crappy one will catch fish, and I only have one of them. The pretty ones, I have plenty of them, but they just, I've actually had it happen where I've tied on a crappy fly that I, because it's the only one I had in my box sometimes, you know, all the rest I'd lost or I couldn't find them or lost the fly box or something happened. So the only one I had was one that was crappy that I just threw in a box and said, you know, I'm not going to throw it away, but I have, I have a crap box. I have a little fly box that's full of the ones that didn't turn out just right, and I throw them in that box, and I'll go through them and use them when I need to. And what I found out is that's the one I only have one of, and that's the one that catches fish all day, and as soon as I lose it, snap it off in a fish, or a fish t snaps me off, I lost the fish. I go home. None of the flies I use will catch fish. I spent two hours after I lost one of them flies that looked like crap, and trying everything else, and nothing else would catch fish. So, the lesson today is think outside the box. Be creative. Take a fly in your box and cut it all to crap and try it. And when it works, you come back to me and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, well, that's because most of the people that tell you that kind of stuff don't know what they're talking about. They're new to the sport, and you should be listening to people that are new and young to the sport trying to tell you what to do anyway. So just ignore them. Go on with your day. Thank you for watching this video. Listen to my little rant, and I hope you watch it all the way to the end so that I can prove that your tying and, 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 and being focused on the wrong thing. Actually, I have had a friend of mine t to show me a midge pattern that all it is is a bunch of uh, uh, hackle wrapped around a hook in a size 22, and he catches massive fish, and it's just hackle. It's hackle. That's it. No body, no tail. Catches a crap load of fish with it every year. Or he has one he just dubs, dubs a body to it. No hackle, no wing, no tail. Catches tons of fish with it in a size 22. So guess what? Do not ever think that your flies aren't going to work. And if you're new here, keep new to tying, keep that one you're going to throw away. Don't throw it away. Put it in a box and keep all them crappy looking flies in a box and you'll find out one of these days that that's the fly that catches fish. So, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching my videos. We're uh, well over 1,500 subscribers, and that's a beautiful thing. I never thought we'd get that far. So, like, if you're new here, like I said before, make sure you subscribe. You don't miss any of these videos like this one or any of our tying videos where we do patterns that are unique to this channel. And that's why we do it. Because guess what? Sometimes the typical patterns, your typical patterns, don't work. So you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching this video. We love all you guys who subscribed. Me and Tracy want to thank you. We never thought our channel would reach this, make it this big. And uh, thank you all. Keep your lines wet, out of trees, and only give them fish a sore lip. And check out our other videos.
and subscribe right in here somewhere. Thank you.